Bum 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 bum. Hello, hello. Just getting set up a wee minute. Put my phone on charge. How is everyone? Happy Friday. Ladies are awesome. Right, come on, oh, get sorted with this cable getting in the way. So many gadgets on my desk. Right, let's find let's find the group so I can see the um comments. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm in the right place. I think I've went under events. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yay, I'm in the right place. Jolly good. Hi, Joe. Uh, hi, Carol. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Jean. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Yay, you can see me. Joe, are you back from your holiday, Bobs? Are you still there, hon? Loving your pictures with the dolphins and oh my god. Looks amazing. I've got a big um, coffee here. Ah, oh, how is everyone? Eventually got those um, false nails off and what a mess my nails are in. So, no more gel for a little while. Hi Peggy, nice to see you here. I'm so excited, it's Friday. So excited. Right, so... What I'm going to do is make a couple of cards based on this one that I made a while ago. This was using uh, one of the bird stamp sets from last catalogue, I'm sure. Um, so I like to keep cards like this. Um, just, hi Anne, morning. Oh, you're back, brilliant. Just as a reminder, um, you know, like if you get stuck and you're not sure what to make, you could always pull out an older card and recreate it with new products and stuff. Morning, Kirsty. How are you all? Yes, the video will be saved on the group. Lots of videos on here, so don't forget to um, have a little scroll through the, all the past events and look for the events coming up as well. There's lots of things coming up. Right, so let's do this. So I haven't prepped anything because I like to just do it as we go. Okay, so I need at least two. Now these are going to be clean and simple. I need two card bases, so these are ten fold C six, so just a half, half of a four folded in half. Okay, and we need some layering circle dies or oval dies, whatever you like. Now I'm going to step up. This is a plain one, so I'll do one like this, and then I'm going to do another one with a hole in the card, and I'm going to add some acetate on there, just to make it look a little bit extra special. Right, so, da -da -da -da, da -da -da dies out. I love putting my layering dies on little magnet sheets. And it just keeps them safe. You know how your desk can get messy and stuff. Oh, well, did you see the sunrise photos on my personal profile this morning? It was really, really red sky. However, um, it's now raining. <laughs> And it's cold and I've actually put my heating on again. Right, so I'm going to get out my little mini Stampin' Up! Cutting Emboss machine. Get my plates out. Because these dies fit through the mini machine. So if I can use the smaller one, I usually do. Oh, I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in ages. I've just had... Hi, Seth. I've just had the oh, funniest of weeks. Um, Right, where's my little um, bits of DSP but I started feeling better yesterday so that was good right I have this gorgeous um, scrap of DSP here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a circle um, with that as a background and then the green on top and then I'm going to fussy cut out one of these um, little creatures um, that's from the gnomes paper um, I'm all over the gnomes already. I've played with the gnomes so much. However, I do like the forest kind of uh, friends. Hi, Steph. I'm glad your prize arrived, honey. 
Um, yeah, and the next one I am going to make, it's non Christmas. I'm going to use um, this designer series paper, Forest Friends. I'm going to fussy cut out this as well. If you've got a stamp set of an image, you can stamp it and fussy cut it out and colour it and stuff. But I just wanted to keep it simple for today so we don't keep you too long. Right. So let's do this. So we need the biggest circle and we need the next size circle and we're going to pop them through together to get a frame. Um, I saw a card similar to this, oh how long ago was it now? Maybe a couple of years ago. Um, it was actually one of my demo frames in America that I saw. Um, Jason, um, it was so that's where I got this original idea from, but it's been around for ages, so. Um, right, do I need some washi tape? I think I will. Right, so I'm just going to pop this on. And I'm going to pop my circles on, and I'm going to tape them. That's a bit too wide, which is fine. Hi, Cathy. Hi, Victoria. Lots of new um, names showing up for the Friday Live. That's great. Nice to meet you all. Right, so that looks pretty. Now we'll move fingers and thumbs today. So what I'm going to do is, this is low tack tape, but I always like to take a little bit of the sticky off just in case it were to rip my paper. Because you just never know. All the washi tapes are so different, aren't they? Right, so we'll just pop a couple of bits on there. Do, 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 do. And let's pop that through. And I don't have a paper mat today because I am die cutting. Um, it just saves my um, little machine skating, skating across the desk on the paper, you see. That's a good Scottish word, skating. <laughs> right, so here we have a little frame. Ta da! And we have this as well, which I'll put in the background like so. This bit we will raise up with little dimensionals. Right, so let me just pop these back together. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry about the singing, I just I, I tend to sing when I'm concentrating. Right, that's ready for the next project. Pop it to the side. Do, 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 do. Now, Stampin' Up! have normal size hexagon dimensionals and we have the mini ones. And these mini ones are perfect um, to put on here if you're doing this technique. So, what you need to decide is which way you're going to put it. Do we want it like so? Or do we want it like that? I think that's nice because you can see the trees and stuff. Hi, Robin. Hope you're okay. Okay, so, really easy. Let me get my pokey tool. Take your pick tool. Um, I'm just going to lift up. Because I don't have any nails at the minute, I'm just using this to pick up the dimensional foam pads. So you're just popping it all the way around the circle. And then I'll use this to remove the backing from it as well. Morning, Jackie. How are you getting on with your catalogue, lovely? <laughs> oh, that's my um, other computer making a noise. Whoops. So, today I have been prepping um, my September creative crafting kits. Not today, sorry. Yesterday I started doing it. It feels, started to feel really good. So um, over the weekend I just need to design the, the free projects for it. Prep all the goodies and um, get those posted out on Monday. Um, I think the singing is a Scottish thing because I do it too. Oh, <laughs> It would be okay if, if I was good at singing. <laughs> oh, Joe. Right, just removing all these little sticky bits. Wait, then I need to get my little bucket to the side. De -de 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 -de. Christine's saying, okay, she's not arrived yet. Hoping to watch as much as I can before she arrives. Oh, bless. 
Well, I hope she's a little bit late so that you can watch it, honey. <laughs> Jackie's still looking, oh, bless. I know, I know. There's it's just so much. Right, okay. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to get the glue. Do, do, do. If anybody orders through me, by the way, just to say that the Tombow glue is on low inventory, which means they're um, going to be running out soon. So, if you want to get stocked up, now's the time. I'm okay, I have another five bottles in my stash. Hi Jackie, how are you? Oh wow, we've got 14 people on watching, that's amazing. Um, and do you see what I've done? I've popped it down the wrong way. So I'm going to have to cut another one of these, that's what I get for um, chatting too much guys. Right, give me a wee second. What a silly womble. <laughs> right, I'm going to do... You see, I've put that on the wrong side. Right. Hang on, what am I doing? Right, get this back on. Because that's correct, it's the ring that's wrong. So I'm going to have to do another ring and stick it down again. But you know what? These things happen. And you just say to yourself, right, be careful next time. The best thing to do is take your time and then mistakes will not be made. I will use this in another project. We have to disappear looking after your granddaughter. Oh, bless. Bless. Right. Let's run this through again. So I'm just lining it up to make sure it's kind of centre. Whoops, sticky, icky fingers. I think that's okay. Dee -dee. Or if it's the two line your friends on video chat together, you're surprised what you hear. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of talking to ourselves, I know that. <laughs> right, okay, take two, Trisha, take two. You could put a solid colour around there as well if you want. It doesn't need to be designer series paper. Right, so we're going like this. So the stickies go on here. Right, let's try again, Trisha. Just, it's just an excuse to stay here longer chatting to you lovely ladies and gents. Oh my goodness, Trisha, stop singing. Can you tell I'm happy it's Friday? <laughs> Honestly. Oh dear. When you're doing something monotonous like this, it's hard not to um, get distracted. Because it's not the most exciting thing to do, put um, sticky things on a circle, is it? <laughs> Carol saying to Steph, at least you've got a friend. <laughs> you know what? I speak to you guys more than I do my real friends. Not real friends, that sounded bad. You know what I mean. I've never actually met a lot of you guys in person, but we're definitely friends. And I'm so glad to have met so many of you. That's what I meant. Because <laughs> you are real friends. <laughs> Just haven't met you in person, that's all. <laughs> right, I'm going to bring this up closer just so I could try and pop it down where it should be. Nice. So it's just a little bit dimension. Now we are going to cut out. Where is it? Right, here's a my paper. Right, here we go. I think to give it a little bit of contrast, I am going to cut out this female deer and a little um, fox. Barbara loves this singing, bless. <laughs> oh, what we like. Right, I'm going to do this one. I love doing fussy cutting, especially when you've got a paper, a DSP I call it. Um, and it's got so many pr pretty figures on it. And you can get so many cards just using the little characters from this. It's amazing. Dee -dee -dee. Okay, so fussy cut my arm, like so. Mm -hmm. Oh God. You can tell I'm having a good day. I am having a good day. When you're having tough troubles, uh, right from today in live chat, we'll sing. <laughs> this DSP is um, 
part of the gnome suite. So I'll show you quickly the now. So this is in our mini catalogue that runs till the end of December. This is a seasonal catalogue. So it's the Storybook Gnomes Designer Series paper. So there's a whole array of gnomes and toadstools and then great festive covers on the back. Uh, festive colours and patterns on the back. Um, so yeah, it's Storybook Gnomes Designer Series paper. Yeah. Um, and we have the gnome, um, kindest gnome stamp set that goes with it as well. So there's lots you can do with this suite. You can get the whole lot for £76. And you get the dyes and you get the puff paint, the embellishments. I need to use them. I've not used them yet. And the ribbon, it's just beautiful. If anybody wants information on it, you could always um, give us a wee message. Right, so. Oh, do you have that? Brilliant. Obviously, I haven't opened the pack yet. I know it's so hard to cut it up sometimes, isn't it? I've never used as much um, designer series paper until I started making albums with Carol. Um, and I have very happily, happily to report that I've used full packets um, whilst making these albums. And um, it's it's not something that I do often, so get get your um, album making skills out, and that's a good way. Carol needs to try keeping um, try keep trying the puff paint. Yes, the more you put on, the longer you have to wait for it to heat up with your heat gun, and then it puffs up, kind of like popcorn, not quite as drastic looking though. Um, I've only used it once. Twice, sorry. I think it's I think it's maybe like embossing that take you a few times to get used to it. Steph might have about six packs of that. <laughs> Not that you're in love with it. <gasps> I know, I just love papers. But look at this, how cute. So this one, I think what I'll do is I'll stick them on the ring and then I'll pop up the legs and I'll put a little dot, a little um, foam pad under. Okay, so let's get the deer on first. It's just a little idea for you guys and girls. When I say guys, I mean everybody. <laughs> Carol's saying just greedy. Well, there is that as well. <laughs> there is that as well. Um, yeah, I might start a new collection of designer series paper. I might start hoarding some. Because I'm... I'm Really wanting to. Um, I've got all the papers in the catalogues, um, but I really need to start buying um, packs that I love just for myself. Um, because obviously, as a as a, a demonstrator, there's no point in me um, working with products that are retired because people will be like, "Oh, I like that. Where can I get that?" And I'll say, "Oh, sorry, it's retired now." Um, that's how I, I try to keep all the products current um, when I'm doing demonstrations. How adorable, look! What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella. Okay, and what I'm going to do, this is nearly done. What I'm going to do is I am just going to add some, um, add some of this to the trees. And it's a very discreet kind of um, glitter effect. This, uh, I'm allergic to glitter, so this is the only one that uh, doesn't make me itch. Got, I'm getting itchy just thinking about glitter now. <laughs> I can't use glitter. Um, Jackson, I need to start a class. I miss it. You should. You should, because there's plenty, plenty of people in need of some inspiration, honey. And that's what I love about starting up the most. So meeting new friends and stuff. So, no right or wrong way to do that, but I don't know if you could see the glimmer. <laughs> That's nice. So, it's just a little fake. Let me see what... Uh, where's my lid? There was another lid on that, wasn't there? Oh, there it is. It's stuck. It's, it's come out of the lid. Um, let's see what embellishments we can add on this. And I am going to stamp as well. I think I will stamp in this um, dark green. 
Right, I have some adhesive backed seasonal um, sequins here, which is in that mini catalogue. So we can use either these that would coordinate with that, or we can use some green. Maybe that's too much green. I'll let you guys choose. Um, oh, thank you, Barbara. Or we can use clear ones. The first one to see which colour to add on here, I'll go with that and I'll go and grab um, my ink while you are um, typing. Jackie's made some great friends through stamping up. I'm going to mark lines treat in November. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to one name um, a week on a week today, actually. Hi, Steph. I'm going to my uplines retreat down in Birmingham. Green. Right. Thank you, Jackie. We'll go with green. Right, okay, right, what I'll maybe do then is I'll maybe um, stamp in a brown colour. So I have two browns, I think I'll go with this one, Soph Suede, or I could go with a uh, Calypso Coral, but I think that would maybe be too much. Oh, right, green got it, green got it, ladies and gents. Right, okay, let's find a sentiment. Now, there's sentiment on the gnomes. Merry, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But I've got a new stamp set. I've got lots of new stamp sets, actually. Uh, I'm not even used yet. This one, Santa's Delivery. I like this. It says Merry Christmas. So I think I'll stamp that down there. This could be a birthday card or anything you like. Right, where's the Merry Christmas one? I'm going to be doing a little video on my own on my YouTube channel showcasing this suite because it's just gorgeous. Um, right, I need a block. Do, 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 do. Okay. These are great. So much easier to, um, to hold. Right, I am just going to pop this down here, like so. Jackie's saying it's a great set, Santa's delivery. It is, and that's what my September creative crafting kit is. Um, it's just gorgeous. And I've put so much extras in the kits for the um the wonderful people who've ordered it. So I'm just um going to design the free projects over the weekend. I'm so excited to send them out. So excited. Right. I just really wish I could do this full time. Because I just absolutely, absolutely love it. Oh, Kirsty saying a Santa's Delivery Suite Live would be great. Yes, you're on. And I also have that I was wanting to do a live on. So I'll get some booked in. I have this new die uh, from the annual catalogue, Pretty Pillow Box Dies. I also have, where's my other die that I was wanting to show you? The other die I have is this, which is mini pocket envelope dies. That's gorgeous. These will be great for albums and stuff as well, guys. Um, this is a little pocket there. It's gorgeous. So, yep, I need to focus on one product at a time because see when I get a big stash like that, it gets quite overwhelming and I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm like, oh, where does that? What will I play with first? Right, okay, so... Let's see, will I just do kind of like three random, just put one there, one there, they say that three in the shape of a triangle looks quite nice. Let me move that up a bit actually. Come on. Let me move it up there, that's better. Ta -da! So there's the first card. Hi Madeline. Isn't that cute? Can you can you see the glimmer bits? It's quite hard to see on my um, phone. Ta da! Gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, let's make the other one. Let me pop these away. Mm -hmm. And you can do this with squares or anything you like. Right, the next one we're going to make a hole in the card. We're going to cut some vellum, not vellum, window sheets. Um, or you know it as acetate. Okay, so next card. Where did I put my card blank? That is the question. Here it is. 
Now, this is too big for the mini machine, so I'm going to put that away. I'm going to get my big one out. Thank you, Joe. I'll just leave that here while I potter around a wee bit. Right. So, let's get these um, bits of paper. See how it's ripped that? So just be careful and do remove some of the um, stickiness. Let me get these out of the way. Sometimes what I've done is I've cut out a circle here and then when you open the card, that's when the way the background is. So that's an idea as well. That's kind of what I'm going to do similar with this card. So let me get tidied a wee bit. Oh, thank you. Look at all the loves and the lights you're giving me. You're so sweet. These are so sweet. Right, so we're going to use the Forest Friends, which is an annual catalogue product. I have a piece of window sheet here. Our acetate, it, it comes in a pack of two 12 by 12. And you might think, oh, that's not a lot. But trust me, it's really, really good. And if you're careful with it, it goes a long way. So, um, great for bigger projects as well. Because normally acetate is um, A4 size, isn't it? Right, now, what I need to do is I need to remove this. I need the bigger size of the circle for the acetate and that just makes sure that there's um, plenty of coverage. Right, you need to position it where you want on the card. Let me get a bit of sticky stuff again. Now I'm really going to remove what I can here. So if I pop that roughly there, okay. Now I'm sticking it down harder on the inside because this is coming out anyway. Get your plates the right way, Trisha. Cut and plate on the bottom, remember the scabby one. Right, I think that looks centre. Sometimes you can look at it and look at it and it just looks squint. Mm -hmm -hmm. Whoa, that rain is getting really, really um, heavy. Right, so gently remove it. No rippages. Is that even a word? Rippages? <laughs> awesome. Right, so what I'm going to do is, here is my vellum. Not my vellum, my window sheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on the back. So I'm going to make a cover for in here. Right, sorry about the glare. I just want to um, see roughly where I need to cut this. Now I'm going to cut it so that I could put red tape on it. Um, tearing tape, sorry. Right, that's perfect. That will do. And I'm going to stick it on the back and then I'm going to layer it up. Um, right, where's my double sided tape? This is my little glue box. Hmm. Oh, I don't know where it's went. Right, take that back. I'm going to have to grab my red tape after all. Right, so. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add red tape onto the inside of the card and that way I know when I put the, the acetate on it's going to be fab. Right. First thing this morning I went out and I dug out some um, plants that were dying in my planter and I dug up a bulbed plant and um, I stuck it in the other planter where the dead ones came out you know what? It, was, it only took five minutes, but it was nice to get out in the garden. I'm kind of glad I did, because now with the rain and stuff. Uh, they were good to make six in a pack for Christmas presents. Every day cards. Yes, they would. Most definitely. 
I wish SU would sell it again. Oh, I know it's um, a staple um, must have for crafters, isn't it? Now, be careful and make sure you don't get your acetate all um, yucky. Right. So I'm just going to peel off, she says, the red tape back in. Come on, don't be shy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to fall out with it in a minute. Barbara's saying it's bucketing down here and very windy. Yes, it's um, bucketing down here as well, hun. I was out the back as well, um, doing play catch with the dogs and stuff. So they've had a good wee exercise in the garden this morning. And now it's raining, so they'll be chuffed as well. Because they don't like going down uh, out in the, the, the rain. Right, I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to get a little cloth. Mm -hmm. Just press it down like that. So there we have a cool window. How awesome! And then what we'll do is we'll put a plain bit on here, we'll put a background on there, and then we'll put the wee creatures on the front, and that'll be nice. Right, now I already have some matte layers. So I've got boxes where I, I keep some matte layer one, two, again. Um, not only does it give you extra skills on how to figure out how to fix it but it makes sure that you don't do it again <laughs> and give yourself a red neck <laughs> oh dear these things are sent to try us don't need to beat yourself up it we'll do these things we can laugh oh definitely we totty bit we totty bit <laughs> you know what i mean joey <laughs> Wee tiny totty bit off the bottom. Oh, I can hear the wind picking up here. Right. Okay, we are nearly there. Oh, we are nearly there, guys. Oh, and there's still 14 watching. Thank you for sticking with, them, with me. Literally sticking with me all this red tape. Oh, come on. There we go. Bam, bam, ba, da, bam. Oh, that's really picking up the rain. Da, da, da. So while I'm here fighting my red tape, the dogs are through in their own beds because they were sprawled, sprawled out, the two of them, right beside my craft desk. So I had to chase them through to their own beds because I couldn't get moving. <gasps> Don't drop it on, Trisha. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> right okay i'm going to shush now right i'm lining this up and it's going sticking down there done finito yeah so the dogs are through there sleeping lucky little buggers look -da! it's almost like a hidden scene we're going to add some fussy cut images here that you won't be able to see from the outside so good isn't it right now we're not putting our, a ring around here we're just going to put little figures on because i used the biggest size and um, if you did want the circle effect um use the next size down don't use the biggest one right that's us done with those i'm just going to pop them away before i lose them she says mm -hmm. here is my pocket Oh, I feel so scatty today. But I'm all right, I promise. I'm all right. I'm just excited because I feel good for a change. <laughs> Fridays are always good. Right, okay. So, what we have here, we can mix and match. I'm going to shove this big machine out of the way. Oh, there's not enough room on this big, huge desk of mine. We can mix and match both of these papers so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I think I'll put the bear I think I'll put the bear and the fox in here because it's a smaller area um, and I think I'll use this big guy on the outside 
they've all got their eyes shut in case you hadn't noticed already right okay fussy cutting time fussy cutting fussy cutting right okay so let's do this Mm -hmm. Might even cut out a little bird and stick it on his head. Right, okay. Is everybody planning on doing some crafting today? I'm just on a break from my job just now. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Right. Concentrating, I'm concentrating. I would have to pick the one that's got the most manoeuvring required to fussy cut. <laughs> right, okay. I haven't even planned my class for um, my Saturday morning yet, neither. So I might do the um, Santa Express. I might do that. Keep an eye out on my page as well because there's some exciting news coming. Um, Roman saying I have all tomorrow for World Card Making Day. Yes, I'm going to reshare on my pages the links to join in if anybody wants to um, craft um, for the Stampin' Up! World Card Making Day event. I'll be on for an hour or so. Um, it starts, it's one till, one till four. Um, but then we're... We've got plans late afternoon, so I won't be on it all day. But I have bought some of the products needed. But it's just good to go in and see people crafting. Uh, Joe's crafting this afternoon, been having with trolls. Yes, I know. Fabulous. You do miss it, don't you? you? Come back for your holidays. You don't need to get holiday blues because, um, well... Basically, um, you just go in your craft room. Right, I'm going to raise this one up a little bit. So I'm going to use bigger dimensionals. I'm not sticking them to this, though. Mm -hmm. Now, I know he's got a different background on him. Do you know what I think I could do? Do you know what I'm going to do, guys? so that you don't see the reverse print through this acetate i'm going to stick him onto white card and i'm going to cut that out we'll only be about another 10 minutes folks if you're worried about having to run off and what have you all right let's stick stick him down because when you lift this up we're just going to see a white bit now rather than the um, blue background so that's a wee tip to hide the print on the reverse side you don't need to do that if you're um if your pattern paper's only single-sided though so and it also makes this guy a little bit thicker too in line with the rest of the card like so Right. See, sometimes I haven't watched TV in ages because I just, I just don't like watching the news and stuff. But sometimes when I did, see, watch a watch Netflix or what have you, through in the living room, I would just, um, oh, thank you, Carol, no rush, thank you, and thanks, Robin. Um, I would just sit and fussy cut out what's the images. while I was watching the TV it's quite relaxing or if you have a scan and cut you can do it that way but sometimes if, especially if you just need one image or what have you it's quicker just to do it by hand by the time you get your machine out and stuff oh look at um isn't he gorgeous all right let's get some link of Stella I'm going to put Wink of Stella on his antlers so I did a card like this um, I'll put it on his feet as well 
I think it was last year and I was, what did I call it? Surprise scene card. So that when you open it up, there's a surprise scene inside. Right, I'm just going to stick him down normal, actually. And his wee legs. So people were like, oh, that's nice. And then they open it up and there's lots of other little critters inside. Fab. Now, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to... You can either stamp a wee sentiment under the image so it's covered, or you can put it along the side or um, up the top or whatever you want. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to put critters in here and then I'm going to stamp and attach a sentiment on the front. But you can put it inside if you want. Right, let's get this gorgeous little girl cut out. Let's make sure she will be hidden enough. Yep. Brilliant. Okie doke. Now, I might not have used this piece of scrap paper if I have, hadn't been doing this project and this would have just lay unplayed with. Um, so it is worth just having a little go. Whether it's hearts, animals, mandala patterns or anything. It's, um, it's just good and it's therapeutic like I say. They say the best way to fussy cut is to move the paper rather than your scissors and that's good for especially like little curved bits like so but everybody's got their own way see of doing stuff Jackie loves fussy cutting it is therapeutic isn't it um Joe can't do any till after next week because you're going into the hospital oh are you hope it's nothing too serious hun I've got a consultant appointment with a prof my professor doctor of endocrinology um, next week, but it is on. Yep, that looks good. It's on Zoom, not Zoom. Near me or something? Have you heard of that? That app. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of little piece of the. Um, no, I'm not going to use that actually. Will I use that black? I'm going to get a piece of this and I'm going to just cut it and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do this. Watch this, watch this. I'm just making like a little bit of land. You can make this green or what have you. It's just to give a little bit of contrast. Christmas cards is the only time that I do this. Right. I'm just going to glue that on the bottom. I'm going to take a little tiny smidgen off. A tiny totally bit. You can do multiple layers like this and pop your characters behind it. You know what I mean? You can build up a scene. These are really good. Um, this one's just going to go directly on the top though. And if she is there, she is hidden. Right, okay. So, hold that in place. Pop some glue down. Give it a wee second. Pop her head down as well. There we go. So, you can't see her there. We are going to stamp here, I think. So, I need a small stamp. It says Merry Christmas. First of all though, I do need to cut out the little bird. Because we did say we were going to put... Thanks Carol. We're going to pop the little bird somewhere. I might put the bird in the tree up here. Because that's hidden. And I think it's just a nice surprise. You know what it's like? Even, even if you've got a card that's been given to you from the shop or what have you. The ones where you open it up and there's so much inside, it's just um, an extra little surprise, isn't it? Right, okay. I haven't had any breakfast yet. It's very naughty. Now, we could have put this on the top of them. 
already put it in the inside. So if I pop him there, he is hidden, right? So I'm just going to pop it there. I'm going to make sure it's hidden. Yep, it is. Before committing to sticking that down. Oops, used a little bit too much glue there. Move him over. Yep, he's definitely hidden. Ta -da! Do you love it in the tree? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, I think I will cut out... Um, we've got an owl here as well that could have went somewhere. You could have put the owl on the back of the, the deer or anything you like. We could cut out these little foliages, uh, these little plants, and stick them along here as well. I've done that in a card before with this stuff. Um, and I think I'll pop a fox on. And then once we've done that, I will stamp a sentiment and that will be us. I'm not even sure what time it is. So sorry if I'm nearer the hour. But hopefully, um, these are all still watching. So I know a few people have disappeared. Friday commitments, as they say. Right, let's get this little fox. He's gorgeous. It's gorgeous colour red for him. Right. Oh, isn't he beautiful? <laughs> right. So let's stick him there. I'm going to cut out some foliage and I'm going to tuck it in behind. Um, this because I only put glue uh, towards the bottom half of it so I'll show you what I mean there's little toadstools and everything you can cut out all of these little bits I just think it's great ah I actually do have a previous project I made with this paper I'll quickly show you because the versatility of your crafting goods there's so much that you could do Enjoying every moment from rainy Ireland. Oh, bless. Are you in Republic of Ireland, Peggy? Because we're actually going to be starting to sell to the um, Republic of Ireland and Belgium in on from the 4th of October. So if you want a catalogue sent out, give me a wee message. It's so exciting. So exciting. So I've just popped that in there. Let's get a little mushroom or a little toadstool, whatever they're called. That brilliant, brilliant. That's awesome. Carol's sorting out her order later on because she can spend tomorrow. Oh no, that's amazing. You've done so well, honey. So well. So I've got a lot of business stuff I need to do today because also on the 4th of October we've got some new kits coming out and these are going to be so chuffed. We've got some new um, all-inclusive kits coming out. We also have free shipping um, on the 4th of October. So don't order before then. Uh, Joe would love a catalogue. Oh, have I not sent you one already? Oh, sorry, Joe. I'll get one sorted for you. Yeah, it's free shipping, so you're saving six ninety five on orders over sixty pounds. I think it is. So you need to spend sixty pounds to get the um, six ninety five free shipping, but so worth it. Um, and as usual, I'll not be able to order in that day because that's like weeks before my payday. So I'll I'll be waiting to mid month. Right. How cute is that? Adorable. I, I really want to just cut out one more thing, which is a little owl, because I just think it's so sweet. You should see the state of my desk, guys. Now, you could do more foliage and things like that on the inside image. Um, and then what we'll do is... Before I leave the live, hang around and I'll show you the other um I'll show you the, the other projects I've made using this gorgeous paper. 
Now I must admit I haven't used the stamp set a lot. I haven't used the dies a lot. But that is just because time is so difficult to find just now. Right, give me a wee second. I'm just going to grab my goodies now. If I can reach them off this shelf. And I'll show you in a minute. Because I forgot how gorgeous it is. Right, okay, so. I think I'll put the owl. Will I put the owl on the back or put the owl here? Oh, you can see that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The owl could sit there, couldn't it? Yeah. Or the owl could sit there. Maybe we could put it somewhere that we can see it through the window. What about there? Oh, it's been hard. You've done amazing. I will need to square you up with the donation money for your charity on my payday, honey. Which I think is the, it's the seven, Monday the 17th I get paid. Right, I'm just going to pop that there. Look! Isn't he cute? We got there in the end, didn't we? <laughs> we did get there in the end. Right, so I need to stamp something down here now. And I'm going to stamp it in this darker brown, which is early espresso. And I think I will stamp, we'll need to open it up so it's flush. I think we'll stamp. Mm, what can we stamp? Thanks, it's too small. I want something. Big. Let me check my other stamp set. So this coordinates with the um, those papers with the wee owls and stuff. Let me see. Do I have another sentiment? I do. I have a new stamp set. Uh, so let me see. I've got a couple. Um, we could do just a note. We could do happy birthday. We could do friends forever. What do you think, guys? What do you think? And of course, I've got glue on that now. There we go. Easily fixed. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do friends forever. Yes, um, Carol's postman is going to have a, a sore back. I'm going to do friends forever because when you open up, look at all that friendship. Right, that's what I'll do. And it's a lovely, lovely font. That. I've not used that yet. I've only used this this stamp. Or was it the smaller stamps? I've got so much to play with. So little time. Oh, so annoying. Okay, guys, let's do this. I keep thinking there's something on my desk when I'm looking at this other screen. But what it is... Is, um, it's a crack on the glass protector on my other phone. Right, I'm just going to be very careful, pop that down. <gasps> oh, look! That goes perfect. That goes absolutely perfect. Love it. And then, of course, you could write something on the back. Or you could write a little message here. I absolutely love that. Right, let's close this ink up and I'll just go over the two cards quickly. So they are quite different. So this one's just plain inside. And this one has the acetate window. You could use vellum as well if you wanted. Um, Barbara's agreeing that the postman's going to have a sore back. You're right. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the font. So that's from the Cottage Rose. That's one of the sets that were... Um, Using for the Stampin' Up World card making day. Um, there was three bundles that we could order. And you would get three embellishments with that. And silly sausage me forgot to add the embellishments to my order. So I didn't get them. Oh, frustrating. You lot are giving me a bad name. I don't spend much. <laughs> oh, do, do I believe that? <laughs> no. Right, okay, the other forest friends goodies. 
So this is what I was talking about, about all the little um, bits that you can cut out. How cute is this? So this is just a paper bag that I decorated. I've put some eyelets in it. But these are all the projects that I've made. Oh my, there's quite a few actually. These are the other projects that I made this week. This is from a different uh, die set. We see I've got the wee birds and stuff. I com completely forgot all these were in here. Oh, look at all these. These are all the extra fussy cut images. I could have used them. <gasps> We've got this one. We've got this one. This one was case from the catalogue. So you've got stamping and die cutting. What else? Um, got this one. It says, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And then I made a little scene in here as well. I love it. I love that. That's one of my favourite ones. What else did I do? I did a little artist trading card. And I just inked up the edges. I made a tag. Still to put a sentiment on there and a ribbon, of course. Uh, I made this little mini gate fold card with a little scene. Look at that. Yes, I think we're all craftaholics, Kirsty. Definitely. And then this as well. Um, again, just using the images from the DSP. I made a little, uh, I decorated a little notebook and this is just like a little uh, glassine bag that I put in the wee um, belly band there. So, I mean, look at all these ideas just from one set of papers. And this is the another gatefold. Uh, this is a different stamp set. This is a gorgeous one. Faith over fear. Everything will be okay. So, look at all that just from the similar kind of products. And, of course, you get dyes and everything with it as well. Oh, it's alright. Lots of people call me Tracy. <laughs> as long as you don't call me Pat. <laughs> the kids have got a joke with me and they, call, they say, Alright wee Pat. And I'll say to them, I'll alright wee Pat you the new. Don't like that. <laughs> thank you for sharing brilliant demo, brilliant cards. Oh, thank you so much, folks. Um, like I say, this was the inspiration. An old project. And there's what we created from it. So it's, I would say get out an old project and try a different, different products on it and stuff like that. And if you have circled eyes, give this a wee go, folks. Okay. Right, I'll go just now. Um, it will be available on Catch Up on the group, as always. And um, yeah, Carol, yeah, you will have a sore add to basket finger repetitive strain injury. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for watching, folks. And um, I'll see you all again um, next week. Take care.